Hello. I want to talk with you for a few minutes about the Army's progress in fielding DOD Enterprise email. The objective remains to move 1.4 million unclassified network users to Enterprise email. To date, more than 89,000 users have migrated to the new system. I want to thank you up front for the support you have given this monumental fielding effort. However, the migration did not go as smoothly as expected. So on May 30th, the NETCOM CG directed an operational pause to relook the level of support and technical changes needed to improve system performance. We've resolved many of the performance issues and further refined our TTPs for success in future migrations. I believe the time taken for this pause has been well spent and that our supported organizations can now feel confident enterprise email is ready to meet their capability requirements. Great progress has been made in eliminating excessive latency, or as many call it, the rolling donut, that slows email and steals productive minutes from your duty day. A Tiger team of engineers from government and industry dug in and found multiple technical problems. They made key network infrastructure configuration changes and repaired faulty circuits, allowing enterprise email to operate at greatly improved speed. Another area the team identified as absolutely critical is compliance with pre-migration and post-migration guidelines. Each PC must have the right software patches and legacy accounts must be configured properly to ensure successful migration. Failed migrations create a needless backlog of trouble tickets and cause extensive delays in our ability to respond to account holders. This is an area where our NEC directors need support from leaders at all echelons as units prepare for migration. I've asked senior mission commanders to operationalize the migration process by having their G6, S6, IMO staff with NEC reps in attendance brief them on their unit's migration readiness. A final briefing five days before migration will allow leaders to verify conditions are set giving them an opportunity to make the final go or no-go decision for their migration. I'd also stress the importance of reporting. When you experience email performance issues, submit a trouble ticket. This cues the team to jump on problems and to spot trends that might otherwise go unnoticed. I expect the operational pause to be lifted on or about 1 September. We will take a careful approach to make sure we're getting it right. Counting the number of users migrated is not the goal. Rather, the goal is a good user experience with excellent email performance. Before resuming full-scale migrations, we are conducting an operational test of our refined migration procedures and improved configuration standards at Fort Lee and Fort Leavenworth. We'll measure performance against specific evaluation criteria set by the Army and DISA. If the testing does not meet the standard, we will sustain the pause. We expect the test will go smoothly and full migration will resume shortly thereafter. While the pause has allowed us to make tremendous progress in solving email performance issues, we anticipate there will still be some technical glitches laying in wait as we move forward. The team is poised to resolve these issues as they arise. The desired state is that your email experience is as good or better than your legacy system. But as we now reach up into the DISA cloud for mail service, vice getting it from the local email server, some changes are inherent in the new system design. The second pin entry as you open Outlook, for example. Overall, I believe these changes in our migration learning curve will pale in comparison to the significant improvements in mailbox size, web accessibility, global calendar and address sharing, and elimination of the need to establish new accounts each time you change locations. After full migration resumes, 7 Signal Command will work with our mission partners to synchronize migration schedules with your operational needs. The team has been working this project aggressively on your behalf. The next that supports you every day, their strategic signal brigades, my staff, and your respective G6, S6, IMO teams. 
we have a strong and solid partnership with DISA, CLG6, NETCOM, ITA, industry, and other organizations that have played a vital role in this quantum leap in information service delivery for our Army and DOD. I am grateful for your continued support. Please keep communication channels open to us. The feedback we receive from you is invaluable as we move forward together. One team, one network, Army Strong.